What's your favorite brand on social media right now? Oh yeah, easy Old Spice. Old Spice, why? Uh, I work with them and they're uh, <laughs> they're awesome. That smells so nice. I'm gonna 100% say Duncan. I love coffee. I'm obsessed with coffee. I love Duncan. They collaborate with TikTokers, so yeah. Myself being one of them, I'll give it a little shameless promo. Coffee. Good marketing, amen. Is the TSA a brand? Because yeah. their social media is yeah. f***ing sick. Because you can like ask TSA, like, can I bring this entire lasagna? And they will literally hit you back and be like, no, you cannot bring that lasagna. No, you cannot bring those nunchucks. I love what Twitter's doing. I'm okay. excited by this new ownership. I think that they've got a lot of innovation. I like a lot of personal influencer brands right now. There's a lot of people that I've been finding through like Reels and TikToks that the communities have on YouTube. And I've just been really resonating with all of their personal experiences over kind of the bigger brands. I feel like all of the NFL teams are really fun on TikTok because they still follow the rules, unlike some of like the really popular brands on TikTok, but they find a way to like make it feel more like a community. Mifflin, uh, and they are a black owned streetwear brand. They've been around for about 10 years. They started with leather goods, uh, but they transitioned into more everyday items. And that's when the brand really started to pop, where now to the point where they probably sell thousands of units and have become one of the kind of like prime examples of what resilience in a brand looks like and also what happens when you lift up on the representative brands to become something that's bigger and could also now become one of these brands who not only employ but really kind of shape the the, 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 the culture in this world. Foxtrot, they're a like Bottega type style store I and mean, they're just really cool. They have really fun content. Anything Netflix, like I feel like that drives what I love, what I see. I think Netflix does a good job. I love what Shondaland does with all of her shows. RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm a huge follower, but they just do, they do such a great job of incorporating like the contestants and it's just very natural. I love it. Xbox Game Pass. They are a fantastic brand that really connects to the gaming community while also really effectively like launching new titles, launching new products, they do it so seamlessly and so creatively that it's a masterclass in marketing. Xbox and Riot Games, because like I really appreciate the way that being in gaming social, that they listen to their players, they really like galvanize their audiences, they galvanize their communities, they really try to like, you know, just put a lot of emphasis into hearing from their players. Xbox. What's your second favorite brand on social right now? I kind of like the food industry right now. Um, I'm enjoying like seeing where fast food's playing, kind of where they're branching out. When I look at a Chipotle, for example, they do a great job of not just partnering with creators on a paid basis, but really celebrating their fans and their creativity. At Aviation Gym, I know Adweek loves them. I think they're doing great work. Yikes, Taco Bell probably. <laughs> They've been a lot of fun recently. I really enjoy all their content with Doja Cat coming out with all stuff. I'm obsessed. It's so good. Yeah. It's really great content right now. I have to say McDonald's. I feel like it's a classic, but like they're always just doing something new and cool. And it's like a lot of the times they have ideas that I wish I could steal. So.